Hey guys, welcome back to the Wesleys. Thank you guys so much for coming here to watch another video. As you saw in the title, it is part two of building a DIY deck around your pool. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you do, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up. Also subscribe so you guys don't miss our next deck video. On our first video, I told you guys that we were gonna go ahead and put all of our joist boards in, but we actually went to Lowe's and they're all completely sold out of boards. So now we have to wait on the order Tuesday or Wednesday. So we won't be able to show you guys putting on the rest of the joist boards till probably the next video. Rob is putting in a post today, so it'll be post on this end of the deck. I'm sure you guys might not know what I'm talking about, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera and show you guys what we're doing today. So in the first video, I showed you guys us putting all this frame up and then putting on these brackets right here, the joist brackets. And then we also got most of these or all of these boards on this side done but we are waiting on the boards to come in or stock up at Lowe's to do this side. So today we are actually working on this side over here. And in the last video, you saw we only had like an L shape right here of joist board, so it was like this and that. And today Rob is putting in all the posts that go under the deck and then the two big posts I told you guys right here and right over there. So that's what we're working on today. I couldn't record this part because I was actually helping Rob and we didn't bring our tripod today. So I will make sure to bring our tripod on part three. But I was just helping him put in this board, just like I showed you guys in the first video over here, how we have the two boards down the center on these poles. We're gonna do the same thing over here. So we're just basically matching this side with this side. So we got this side on. Next we have to put this side on. And we are gonna put a post right there in the middle. He's about to dig that hole. And we will put the board, the other board on this side. So I guess now it's time to dig holes. This is probably the worst part. So he's actually digging these holes and they're right close to this tree right here. So there's a ton of tree roots, tree roots going underneath this tree right here or under the ground. And he's getting running into roots in here. So he's probably gonna have to saw those and cut them so he can continue digging. Yep, because there's two roots right there. Get thing like it. such a hard worker. <laughs> well, anyway, we tried to get out early today so that we would beat the sun and the heat, but it is already getting really hot. So it's time for a break. Can anybody guess where we're going? Hmm. I don't know where we always go. I'm gonna flip the camera and let you guys guess for a second. Gotta go Starbucks. Yep, that's a great break. I'm going to get my caramel ribbon crunch, and Rob usually gets. Uh, milk and cookie dough. Yes, he usually gets. The dragon fruit, though. that's pretty good too. Yeah, he usually gets go dragon fruit and the mocha cookie crumble. And I'm having a hard time talking today, guys, so sorry. So, guys, we are winners. We are so lucky today, aren't we, Rob? Yeah. So today we went in there, or we went through the drive-thru, and we ordered this one and this one. And then he accidentally, I don't know if he's new, but those two drinks back there were free because he actually made those two and they were supposed to go to the car behind us. They gave us our drinks for free. So we got four free Starbucks drinks today. Pretty good. Four free drinks. That'll help me save my money to buy something. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we got four free drinks and the two behind me that I just showed you guys, I couldn't tell if you heard me, but those two right there, they were not our drinks. They were supposed to be for the car behind us, but he gave them to us and we grabbed them. And he said I couldn't take, he couldn't take them back. Yeah, he couldn't take them 
going back through the window. So we got four drinks and they're free. So that was pretty cool. Awesome grass. Awesome grass. You always be winning, huh? I'll be winning. Winning. <laughs> So I said this in the last video, we usually put one bag of concrete down in the bottom of the hole and let it harden with some water. Let it put one bag in the bottom, let it kill, give it a couple hours, or sometimes for the next day, it depends on how hot it is. Let it cure up. And that and was an we'll 80 pound the, bag. That was 80 pounds. Then we'll set the pole on top of that and level it all up attach it in and then we'll concrete that pole in with another bag or bag and a half on top. And how many did you say of those 80 pound bags? Oh, that we're going to use total? Yeah. Um, There's like for 40. this we're going to use about 45 bags total. Yeah, that's a lot of concrete. What did we say, like 3,200 so pounds? that'll be about, I don't know, about 30, what is he? Yeah, about 3,400, 3,500 pounds. That's a lot of concrete, huh? Yeah. So now we just gotta let these dry up. I think he's gonna do another hole over there. I gotta where that bag put is. some down over there, but I gotta pull that post back out. I just had it there to kind of make sure I was in line with my boards and make sure everything was square. Let me mind everybody, I'm not a professional. This is not what I do. He's not a professional. I do know what I'm doing, but. I'm no pro. I don't do this for a living. I weld. Yeah, he um, welds. I weld. But it's today really good. and right now, we're building a deck. I've built many a decks, but this is the biggest one I've done by myself. I think he's doing a good job. Or with my lovely wife. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go ahead and set these poles in, and we'll be back with the camera. And anybody else who wants to try to build a deck, it's no biggie. All you gotta do is sit, plan it out, get your measurements, you know, make sure you got some of the necessary tools. If you don't have them, you can rent those tools, draw it out, and get your supplies and take your time. Measure twice, cut once. It's that simple. Anybody can do it. So, yeah, you, you did YouTube, huh? You YouTube some of this. Yeah, I YouTube a lot of uh, different videos on how to use the build a deck. And I mean, I, I knew a lot of it, but. I still needed to, you know, Make sure. see what kind of new ways people were doing. I haven't helped build a, de I haven't helped to build a deck in a while, so. But it's yeah. alright. I mean, it's coming along. I mean, it may not be perfect in the end, but it'll be pretty nice when I'm done. I'll make sure. Yeah, and it also the the other hard part is not just building like a floating deck. This deck is up and lifted. I helped build, you know, a good portion of that deck of most of that deck up there. Yeah, he helped build the deck up there. And the hardest part, I think, will be, or the more complicated part, will be putting in that part right there around the pole because it is rounded. Yeah, I'm doing it in four sections. This is section number two. We still have section three, which is in front of this section, and then section four, which is in front of the first section. Or you can call it whatever section you want, but there's four sections. But anybody can do it. Just got your yep. So, and he will be showing you guys how he does the steps up there. He's not sure if he's going to do a steps or the ramp. But yeah, I think we're just gonna do one set of steps over there and then the little bit in front of here. And I'll show you guys all that too. Most people don't realize it, but you know, they pay to have it done, have a professional or whoever come in, they don't try it themselves because they think they can't when they can. Yeah. You know, this would be like 15, 15 to 20,000 or better. Yeah, it's crazy. And right now, I don't know the exact number. We'll figure that out later. But right now we're at like 1100 bucks. Which is crazy. You know. Yeah, doing it yourself. $1,100 in, and half of what was ordered isn't even here because it's with the pandemic going on, all the sawmills aren't sawing and working, and trucks aren't running. So, a lot of your big lumber vendors are out of lumber. It's a scramble to get what you can. So, they're so backed up in orders, they have to call people as soon as their shipments come in and let them know, hey, are your lumber's here? But unfortunately, ours isn't here, so it's going to slow us down, but it's fine. Yeah, we'll just basically get this frame done, but we won't be able to add the joist boards till that order comes in. And that will be probably video number three, part three. 
So meanwhile, we'll just uh, let you guys kick it with us on what we got going on and we'll do what we can and keep you guys updated as the project keeps moving. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and if you guys have any suggestions of how I could do things and make it easy for myself that you might know about that I don't, that'd be great. Drop a comment below. We'll check them out and see what kind of ideas you guys got. See what Selena's doing. This actually hooks up to a hose, so it's a spray ball, but they just got done playing with it, so they took the hose off. We're glad that she's able to come out here and play while we're working on the deck. So they actually have a trampoline swing set and this little ball she can play with. Keep her busy outside while we're working. All right, I'm gonna go back over here, okay? What are you doing? Oh, uh, just waiting on concrete to dry. What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Waiting on you. Are y'all waiting on me too? Sorry, I'm waiting on concrete to dry. It is what it is. The name of the game. Nope, still waiting. <laughs> All right guys, so that's it. 32 feet by 16 feet, framed in partially, not all the way, almost there. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new here, make sure you like and subscribe if you're not already. Other than that, thanks for hanging with the Wesleys and we're out.